Hello everyone, I am Crawlers and no, you're not uh, seeing things, uh, Battlefield 4 isn't broken and uh, this isn't any graphics card failure. Uh, this dear viewer is the newly built community map project uh, map for the Battlefield 4 and uh, DICE is starting to test, to test it in CTE. Now, as you can see, um, this product that they've uh, put out right now is literally months away from being complete. In fact, you know, it's just uh, in the very, very beginning phases right now. And uh, before you check out all of the, all of the maps, uh, I mean all of this map and uh, the layout and whatnot, uh, you kind of have to look at where it all started. And... Uh, as you may remember, the community was given a choice of a couple of different environments and uh, Django seems to have come out on top. Now, not necessarily a bad thing, but out of the three uh, map layouts for uh, this type of map, it seems, or rather, DICE tells us that layout C has won in the polls according to results. Now, whether or not DICE actually settled on this layout before, uh, you know, the polls even began is another thing, but let me put on my tinfoil hat here for a second and uh, say that uh, the poll, in my opinion, was mostly rubbish, uh, just like uh, the poll uh, for the uh, maps, you know, from Battlefield 3 to make a comeback into Battlefield 4. I mean... It's pretty damn obvious Grand Bazaar and Zyna Crossing would have been the top choices for any player. Uh, people really dislike Caspian and Firestorm just adds nothing to the mix, I think. Um, it always boils down to, you know, one team taking all the flags and the other team uh, not being able to leave the spawn and, you know, being pummeled into oblivion pretty much. Whatever it may be, I think most of you would agree with me that uh, the map layout B should have won. It looks interesting and not as conventional as the rest of the maps where, you know, each uh, team just starts out at the opposite ends of the map and meet at the middle flag and, you know, just duke it out for that, uh, for that flag. Um, here the action could have been a little more dynamic, I think. You had these very uh, bad company to Vietnam uh, looking temple ruins at B. And, uh, well, at least I pictured them that way in my head. And possible, uh, you know, some possibly some nice interior close quarter fighting in the buildings at the center of the map. Uh, village house to house, you know, combat would have been really fun, I think. Uh, maybe people voted for C, for map layout C, because they wanted the waterfall uh, and felt that they would have been, it would have been kind of like this Dam of Ant Peak-esque skydiving map, and they would be able to jump off the waterfall and, you know, parachute down onto the map. But, come to think of it, there is no real built-in battlefield moments in uh, Battlefield 4 multiplayer, you know besides a big building just coming down on Shanghai. I mean, that parachute was really something. Each time you jump down and kind of open the chute real close to the ground, it was, it was a lot of fun, and I think you would... I think anyone would agree with me that, that they've had a lot of fun on Dan of Ant Peak. Uh, but, no, um, according to DICE, uh, they really didn't want a lot of verticality to this map, so, you know, there will be no uh, jumping off the waterfall, and in fact, the waterfall is completely off limits, and uh, the entire map is more or less level, uh, flat with the exceptions of some hills. Now, I, for one, love vertical fighting, but again, dice. So, uh, there have been... Um, some pretty interesting ideas being thrown out there uh, on the overall uh, layout of this map, you know, 
some suggestions. Uh, some people say that uh, the the uh, the flag B should be uh, should be moved north a little bit. Others say uh, the flag should be on the inside in the cave under the uh, the waterfall uh, where even helicopters can fly in. You know, sort of this huge cave, uh, but at the same time when it's it's being covered by a wall of water you can't see a damn thing into the cave so it's kind of a, a one-way floor to ceiling mirror if you wish so i for one found that idea really interesting it would surely add a lot of epicness to the map you know uh, kind of like in the matrix when uh, neo was supposed to free morpheus from the machines when they were working him over, you know, he just kind of uh, parked the helicopter with the, the minigun right next to the uh, high-rise building and just leveled everything inside. And I think, uh, you know, here it, it could have been uh, something similar where they could add transport choppers to the map and, uh, you know, not like jets or attack helicopters, but you could take that minigun, you know, park it outside the... Uh, uh, the waterfall and just you know plow everything inside and alternatively inside the waterfall uh, as you wouldn't be seen you could take out an rpg and just stick one into the helicopter which you know should be pretty close by then well whatever that was just me going uh, you know thinking out loud uh there was also uh, this idea of moving the sea flag north into a cave system and another of basically raising the north and south sides of the map uh, well high above the uh, center level where uh, the flag C could sort of be in this uh, you know almost a corridor uh, between the two kind of cliff sides to the north and south now, uh, having said that, you can see that this is a very early build of this map, and uh, right now it's just a scale test, which, uh, well, essentially means that just basic layout and the size and uh, uh, placement of things are being tested. So, uh, you know, now is not the time to say, well, I want more trees over here, or the house has the wrong collision models or this leaf is the wrong color or there should be more uh, evolution here no uh, what you need to focus on right now when giving feedback to dice and uh, you know their threads on uh, cte forums or reddit uh, which is good that they've got reddit now because i think it connects them to a lot more uh, people than the forum otherwise would and as a side note, I have to just note here that I hate the battlefield forms, the battle log. Uh, it's just a crazy, crazy bad um, system, but that's completely beside the point. So, as I was saying, what you need to focus on when giving feedback to DICE is uh, flag layout ideas. You know, if they seem too close or too far to each other or overlook each other too much. Um, maybe something like that, or elevation changes, uh, what was I say, distance between the flags, uh, terrain layouts, you know, uh, not building layouts, not specific ones, but like, um, you know, just the terrain overall model of the map. Ideas maybe for uh, jungle ruins in, um, instead of uh, the clearing, you know, like, um, well, that's just my idea, something I would like to see personally. But, you know, maybe uh, the sea level needs to be changed. And actually, uh, that's the first thing that happens when they lay out the terrain on the game engine. You will notice it already has water on it, and the water already looks like a finished product. Well, that's because the water is actually a finished product and, you know, because it was already modeled in the game and it always looks like that. And that's essentially what the game engine layout, what they start with at first. And then they just raise the terrain in places uh, 
around the water level, so uh, the water exists on all maps, you know, it's by default, even ones without weavers, so uh, you can't see the water on some maps because the terrain is raised up so high above sea level, but, you know, you go down far enough and it will always be there, just like in the real world. Uh, the map overall is pretty fun though, as you can see I've uh, even had a blast on it and uh, I've had a blast on it and even had a few, um, uh, you know, uh, very satisfying uh, headshots from the mare's leg and a scope that I put on it, a 7x scope I think. And right now with the long sidelines and lack of trees to get in the way, uh, you know, that's kind of possible to accomplish, although it has to be mentioned here that uh, they um, increase the muzzle velocities in pretty much all weapons across the board, so uh, shooting at the enemy just became a lot more satisfying than it used to be. And um, that's another uh, thing actually that any FPS game uh, like this would compromise on. As a general rule of thumb, you know, these weapons in uh, Battlefield 4 or other Battlefield games have a lot slower um, muzzle velocity than they do in real life. In part that is, uh, this is the way because uh, it's made to balance out weapons amongst each other and in part it's a way to make everything work well uh, within the ability of the game engine. And, of course, the main concept is just to make things difficult enough, but still fun for the player, and sometimes that just means, you know, bending a few rules of nature. Uh, the gravity constant, for example. Uh, DICE has uh, most of the projectiles in-game drop at a rate of 15 meters per second per second, whereas that is just, you know, not true in the real world. So, uh, things are always balanced and compromised, and, you know, this isn't only limited to dice games. Um, any game you play with the, uh, on, on the PC will, you know, have fun as the very first uh, cornerstone rule. So, thanks for watching. Please rate and share this video to help my channel grow. Check out my other videos at the end of this one. And remember, in Soviet Russia, YouTube subscribes you.